welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a What's in My School Bag Uni Edition. Let's begin with the most important part of the video, which is the bag itself. It is a brown leather looking bag and it has these two magnetic buckles that do up just at the front. It has a pocket on each side and then the straps are very thick on the back. As you can see, it's quite heavy. Look how full it is. I'm actually struggling to hold it. When we open up this front pocket, you have a zip up compartment at the front and then you have the main zip up compartment just at the back here. Unfortunately, this bag is from a local garden centre near my hometown, so you guys probably can't get a hold of it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to link some bags that are very, very similar to this one in the description. So if you do want to get a bag that looks similar to this, you can find one. Let's get into the bag. I think we should start with the main pocket and then we'll move on to the front pocket afterwards because that's what I usually do in these videos. So the main compartment, we've got these two zips. And you open up and this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, first thing we can see here is my lunch box. I thought I'd include this just because I do use this every day and I love it. It is a Systema uh, lunch box and it has three compartments. And then, it's actually not inside right now, I don't know why, it must be in my cupboard. But um, it normally has a little compartment that fits on the top in here and then you get a little pot that you can put in one of these smaller compartments that you can put sauce, dips or just little extras that you want to put in it. I sometimes put salad in it, I sometimes put raisins in it, just as like a little side snack little snack pot i guess i've had this for quite a few years now and i just this is my favorite color so i really love this lunchbox and i think it's so good because it has so many compartments you can fit like a lot in this lunchbox and then along the similar lines we've got my water bottle which again i've had for a couple of years and this is a polar gear water bottle and it had mini mouse on it it's quite scratched off now unfortunately and um, i've had this since before i went to disneyland which was a year and a half ago i think so yeah, looking a little bit worse for wear and I probably will get a new one soon, but this doesn't leak. It has a little sippy part on it, which I know a lot of people like. I prefer the ones with the straws and the sippy parts because they're just easier to drink from and you don't have to make loads of noise when you're like unscrewing the lid. Um, but this has definitely been worth its money. It wasn't even that expensive in the first place. I think it was like six or seven pounds and it has lasted me quite a long time and I like it as well because you can hold it by this little handle here. All right, so we then have this little pouch inside the bag, which is from Primark. It is a laptop case and it's got the sunshine and like the water on it in pink, yellow and orange. And I really love this case. It's been very, very good for my laptop. I did have a little accident with my macbook last year and um, where the screens got smashed so i'm trying to be very careful with it now and it actually has a front pocket in it here which you can fit quite a lot in i used to put my airpods in here but i don't anymore but you can do if you want to or you could put like a charger or some cables in there if you like and then opening this up we have obviously got my laptop inside which also has a lot of like pinky and orangey stickers on it um, and then it has this little flap here that basically keeps your laptop safe inside. It like holds it in almost. Um, and it's very thick and supportive. Like I said, it's from Primark. I can't remember how much it was, but it really wasn't much. I want to say eight pounds. Um, I got it this summer. So whether they still sell them or not, I'm not sure. But even if they don't, they probably still sell laptop bags just with different designs on them. Then, I don't know how well you can see this, but in this back, Part of the bag you've got a zip up compartment i don't really use this that much but it is good if you did want to put i don't know keys or money or something in it because it would keep them nice and safe we then have this part here which has a velcro strap on it i think this part is actually designed to put your laptop in but obviously because i've got a laptop bag it's slightly too big to fit in this back compartment so i just use this for whatever really but currently I've got a notebook in it and I have got a pucker pad. As you guys know, every year I seem to have a pucker pad of some kind. And this year I've got these shiny ones, which they were actually Izzy's from last year, but she didn't end up using them. So now they're mine and I have three of them, three different colours. There's dark blue, like a medium blue, if that's even a thing. And then this light blue. And I just have one for each of my modules. If we dive right into the bottom of my bag, we've got my pencil case, which is just here. And it is a pink pearlescent shiny pencil case. I think I've had this for a couple of years also, um, and I got it from Savers. A bit of a random place to get a pencil case. I know you wouldn't usually look in there to get stationery and pencil cases, but it was very cheap and it's literally lasted for a couple of years now. So I think it's really good. I probably won't even go into what's in my pencil case today. If you wanna see what I usually keep in my pencil case, I do have previous videos that 
delve into that. Um, I haven't really changed it up much since being at uni. Then right at the bottom of my bag, we seem to have a perfume. I don't know how long this has been in here for. I don't use it that much. Um, I kind of forgot that it was in my bag but it is a really nice perfume and I used to use it every day in sick form. So it is the Vera Wang Princess Perfume. It's really, really cute and it smells so good. But it's just kind of in there for if I ever forgot to put my perfume on in the morning and just want to put some perfume on before I go into class. It's just good to have some in your bag. If we then turn the bag around so that we can see these two pockets just here that are in the front, um, we've got a smaller pocket here which I keep my wired earphones in and these are for my presenting module. I'm um, doing presenting at the moment and we sometimes need these so that we can hear uh, instructions that are be being given to us while we're on set. So they just fit perfectly in that little pocket there so I don't forget to take them to class. And then in this bigger one here, I keep my keys. And that is everything that I keep inside the main compartment of my bag. Alrighty, let's move on to the front pocket. So we unzip it, it opens actually very wide and I have got my emergency kit which i'll go through in a moment i've got my glasses case which i've got my glasses in and i do wear my glasses like literally every day when i'm at uni because otherwise i get headaches and i also cannot see properly i don't know why i've got this like dusty old chocolate dust on everything i kind of need to wipe the inside of my bag because i accidentally left a kinder bueno in there once and it like crumbled and now i've got crumbs on everything and then we have a, like a mini emergency kit so i'll go through this first and then i'll go through the main kit after this so in this tiny little bag which is from number seven i think it was like a freebie when i bought something else um i got this free bag but i feel like if you went into boots and looked at like travel products then you might be able to find one of these bags maybe um but let's just show you what's inside. We have got some mini sanctuary towels, some hair bubbles, because you never know when you're gonna need one, let's be honest. And then I actually have this, which is a forehead uh, like rub, like a stick, I guess. Um, so I get a lot of migraines and headaches and I find that sometimes I don't wanna stick on these big like pads that I have, because I used to use these cooling pads to put on my forehead and they used to really help um, but sometimes I don't want to put that on in the middle of the class so this you cannot see it when you put it on it's not greasy and it does seem to help I've only used this a couple of times so far but every time I've used it I have been impressed and I've been pleased with the result if you have migraines or headaches yourself then you can have a little research into whether this is suitable for you for the final part of this video, we're going to go through my emergency kit. This bag is from Clinique and again, it was a freebie with other products. Uh, my Nana actually gave this to me when she got it for free with some makeup that she bought. So apparently all my little bags and pouches and stuff are for are freebies from makeup brands. As you can see, it's quite full. I used to keep all of this just loose in the front pocket of the bag but then I literally could not find anything I was looking for because the pocket's so big, I was just like scrambling around trying to find stuff. So I feel like it's better if you've got it in a smaller bag. So let's go through it. Again, we've got a sanitary towel, but a little bit of a bigger one this time. We then have a claw clip. I love claw clips at the minute. If my hair's greasy, it's going up in a claw clip. I've got a hand sanitizer, which is pretty much empty, but I feel like there is a tiny drop in there. So I just keep that in case I need to sanitize my hands before eating lunch or something. I've got my purse. Randomly, I've got a Maltese's reindeer chocolate in here. I love these so much. And I guess if I ever need a snack, I've got one in here. Along some similar lines, I've got some extra chewing gum and this is the Cool Breeze flavor, which is my favorite. Vanilla Pumpkin Hand Cream from The Body Shop. This is the, my favorite scent from The Body Shop. It's amazing. They bring it out around autumn time every year and in this household, me and my friends, we all love this scent and it's such a good hand cream. Whenever I smell it, it just reminds me of autumn winter time because I used it last year all winter for just keeping my hands nice and moisturized and it works wonders. Then we have Vaseline, which again, it's just a staple piece really to have in my emergency kit my AirPods, and then my student ID, which is on a lanyard, a battery pack, and this is an Anchor battery pack, and I really like these ones. This lasts for ages when it's charged up. And then to go alongside that, I've got a phone cable. And the final thing in here is kind of random, but it's just like a like a fidget toy. We got these free at the Freshers' Fair. That is everything I keep in my emergency kit and also in my uni bag. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about 
what I take to uni or just general uni questions then comment them below. I'd also really appreciate if you'd comment any video ideas that you have that are uni based or just general video ideas I don't mind and um, down below then that'd be really helpful for me and thank you so much for watching I hope to see you again soon lots of love as far as went bye